you know, it's interesting. The Lord actually woke me up this morning at 5.55. And I was like, whoa. And so he, he got my attention. And for anybody who knows me, I am not the most like morning person. Mornings are not my favorite. Um, but it was so intense and, and so abrupt that I just, I couldn't miss it. And I felt like, oh, I might cry. But anyway, the Lord started speaking to me and he said, these, the five digits are like the digits, the three, five, 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 they, they began to turn into keys. And I watched as the Lord began to hand each one of us a key. And I saw it was like, almost like this door began to open in the spirit and this light started just, just, it was so brilliant and so bright and it started shining through the light. And each, each person, each one of us took our key and we began to walk towards the door. And so just even right now, as I'm just sharing, sharing this with you, I feel like this is an impartation for all of us. That's been on God's heart. I think I'm just, I'm so weepy because it's, it's been so on God's heart just to tie in with this. It just felt like the Lord was just highlighting the inheritances and the blessings and the callings on family lines that he wants to release this morning. And so I felt this for, for something's been building for weeks and we've all been sensing that. And so I feel like there's something this morning. I invite you to just receive that right now that the Lord is giving us keys. And then he highlighted to me, Matthew 16, 19, it says, I will give you keys to the kingdom of heaven and what, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And the keys are to unlock the destiny that he has for your family and for your family line and for your children. And, um, and yeah, and so I just feel like there's something about the Lord that he's inviting us to stand in this place, to know our children by the spirit and actually call them into their destinies, to anchor ourselves in what he, how he sees them, to anchor ourselves in the blessing, in the calling, in the destiny that he has for our children, for our families. And that's why it's so important that we see what he sees and that we say what he sees.